When you log into your Asset Tiger account, you'll be brought to a page very much like this, your dashboard. At the top, you'll see these colorful boxes, which we call widgets. And in these boxes, you'll see information like number of assets or value of assets. Below, you'll see various charts, calendars, and feeds. One quick thing to point out, many of these already have options you may not have noticed right on the dashboard. You can click through the feeds to learn more about the current status of each asset. You can make a graph like this, vertical or horizontal. And you can scan through the calendars. But this is a video about how the dashboard itself is customizable. To create your own dashboard, go over to the bar on the left, click Setup, and go down to Manage Dashboard. Or there's a shortcut up here on the upper right. Okay, let's start with the widgets, those colorful boxes containing information that are at the top of the dashboard. On the left is a list of the available widgets, and on the right are the widgets you are currently using. To add one, just drag it from the left to the right, and vice versa to get rid of a widget. Feel free to change the colors of the widgets if there are two that are similar, or just because you want to. Hover over the widget, click the icon in the lower right, and choose a new color. Now arrange the widgets how you want to see them. You can adjust the number of columns. The default will show you four widgets across. Let's change that. Two, three. And move the widgets into the right order by clicking and dragging. When you're done, click Save Changes, and you'll be taken to the new dashboard where you can see the newly configured widgets. Okay, now to the lower section. Again, click Manage Dashboard. Click the Charts tab to look at all your options. Much like with the widgets, you can drag selections from left to right and right to left. You can rearrange the order. And you can adjust the number of columns. Additionally, you can stretch some of these items two times or three times their size if you want to make them more prominent. I'm going to move a few around to get them exactly as I'd like them. Then click Save Changes, and here they are. Each individual user can customize his or her own dashboard, but as the administrator of the Asset Tiger account, you can decide which widgets, charts, etc. are available for your users to choose. To manipulate these options, go to Advanced on the left and scroll down to Security Groups. When you added users, you were asked to categorize each user into a security group. Some users can only view information, some can edit, some have complete control to customize the account. If you want to edit these groups, go back over here to Users under Advanced, and you can organize those categories. But for now, back to Security Group Manager. Pick a group, for example, the viewer group, and click Edit. Click the tab for Dashboard, and here are all the available widgets, charts, etc. If you prefer that users in the viewer group not be able to see charts by location, unclick those boxes. Maybe you don't want those users to have access to the funding widget. Unclick that box, and so on. Click Submit, and those changes will apply to every user in that group. One common way this is used is if the administrator would like the user not to have the information about the prices of the assets. To do this, I'm going to choose a group, the viewer group again, and click Edit. We have a one-click option for this. Choose Hide Price Info here. And when you go back to the Dashboard tab, a lot of the widgets and charts are no longer available as an option. If you have any questions about this or anything else in the application, we're happy to help. Click Help Support and contact us for all the ways to reach us.